Hi everyone, welcome to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm back again with another pick a card reading. This is going to be a short little reading of how does this person truly feel about you. And I'm going to be using the messages from the Divine Masculine deck alongside the Pixies Astounding Lee Norman deck. So I've got three sets of cards, set of cards number one, set of cards number two, and set of cards number three. So thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed. I really do appreciate it. If you do subscribe, please tap the little bell icon. That will notify you every time I release a new reading. So these are general messages. So take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Always follow your own intuition. Please don't try and make these messages fit your individual situation if they're not resonating. So I'll give you a few moments to tune into the energies. Which set of cards resonates with you the most? Okay, so this is set of cards number one. How does this person truly feel about you? So from the messages from the Divine Masculine cards, we have everything's falling apart. I'm building my foundation. I'm finishing old cycles. Fuck what they think. It's worth it. And we are meant to be. And from the Lee Norman cards, we have the fox and the crossroads. Okay, so this is really interesting. Everything's falling apart. Alongside that came out, I'm building my foundation. So that reminds me of the tower card in the traditional tarot. So everything's falling apart. That's that tower moment. Something, certain things that aren't serving this person have crumbled. They're falling apart. They're being broken down so they can finish the old cycles with this I'm finishing old cycles card. And so they can rebuild their foundation you know that tower energy is a blessing in disguise it's very shocking there may have been something shocking that's happened within your connection some kind of breakdown separation breakup or something like that or some truths were revealed something that was a deception or something that neither of you could see clearly perhaps there was some major triggering that really brought something to the surface and it's created a lot of upheaval it's either within your connection or within your life or within this other person's life and it's had a major effect with within your connection, um, some kind of false foundations or false sense of security, which was actually a block or a comfort zone or a limitation has fallen away. It's crumbled, it's broken down. And it's so you can build things up again in the truth. Truth has been revealed or some illusions, comfort zones have been released. So there can be true intimacy. There can be a true firm foundation to be rebuilt upon. And it is all about this unfinishing old cycles energy. Some major karmic cycles are coming to an end. Some epiph epiphanies are happening. This person perhaps... There was this energy of the fox. This is being, um, what's the word? It could be deception. It could be being sly as the fox. Some kind of concealing the truth about something. Someone wearing masks. Someone not following their truth. Someone perhaps making false promises in the past because they didn't feel ready but they were trying to keep you holding on because they didn't want to lose you perhaps someone taking you for granted something like that some of you have got annoyed some of you have recognized um, some deceptive qualities about someone but they really are changing their ways because 
they're finishing these old cycles. They're at this crossroads now. Whatever's happened, there's been a crossroads. Perhaps you felt like you were at a crossroads. Maybe you discovered something and it really shocked you and you felt like everything was falling apart. Perhaps this was your heartbreak. You felt like your dreams and goals and the vision you had of this person was falling apart and you were left thinking, should I stay, should I go? You didn't know what to do. You didn't know whether to carry on in this relationship, in this connection or move on. Some of you may have been a bit like this fox energy and you're, you know, concealing yourself now. You're holding your cards close to your chest. You're maybe shut down and not communicating as much to this person because they shocked you. Or it could be the other way around, you know, take whatever resonates. Um, just tuning in. So there's this we are meant to be card, whatever karmic cycles, illusions, masks, walls, just not being able to see clearly or not living in a true sense, not being authentic, that's crumbled and there's this realisation now of we are meant to be. This person may have been taking you for granted and they may have felt as though you would always stick around or something like that, no matter what. And then something's happened and it's, it, they were in a state of confusion. Something's happened, you've realised something and that, where, whereas once you were so certain of this person, it made you go into uncertainty. And ironically, that's flipped things around and it's made them certain that you are meant to be. So I feel this person in the past with this fuck what they think card, that's the old cycle they're finishing. Perhaps they've been worried about coming out of the spiritual closet or they've been living their life wearing masks, worrying what everyone thinks about them. Perhaps there's been some conflict where people are against your relationship or your connection or something like that. Perhaps you're of different religions or different cultures or different you know, social circles and there's been some conflict or friction and they were worrying about what other people thought or something like that or they were worrying too much about what you were thinking so this fox energy was them trying to appear much more confident than what they really felt and they were kind of trying to stall you they were kind of trying to keep you holding on but then they weren't really following through with their promises and now... With this It's Worth It card, they realise it's it's worth releasing the things, the comfort zones that they were holding on to. The letting go of those old cycles. They're realising it's worth going down the path of their truth, of being authentic, because they are realising that you are meant to be. So... Yeah, they got stuck at the crossroads for a long time, but now they're finishing that old cycle of any deception. They know you're meant to be and they know it's worth it. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And if it has, then please like, share and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And if you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will inform you every time I release a new reading. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Okay, so this is set of cards number two. How does this person truly feel about you? So from the messages from the Divine Masculine cards, we have, I need you. Honesty is important. I'm here for you. We are aligning. I'm making the effort. And you deserve the best. So these are all really lovely cards. And from the Lou Normand deck, we have the heart. And the final card is the clover. So this 
Set of cards number two is a really lovely energy. I need you. You know, this is how they feel about you. And there's this big red heart. They feel this deep love for you. They feel a lot of romance. Honesty is important. They really want to express their feelings to you. They really want you to express their feelings to them. Um, I'm here for you. So yeah, they want they want to be there for you. They want to be this person that you can go to, you can talk to, you can be open with. We're aligning. I'm making the effort. You deserve the best. So maybe there were some issues with honesty in the past because honesty underneath this is I'm making the effort. Or, you know, maybe it wasn't that they were being dishonest. Maybe they just had fears of revealing their emotions, expressing themselves. I feel this person is a sweetheart, but they fear they fear rejection. Um, they may wear their heart on their sleeve or they have in the past. Maybe they were naive in the past is what I'm feeling. When they were younger, they did wear their heart on their sleeves, but they've experienced some heartbreak or they've experienced some rejection, feeling as though... I feel as though they put people on a pedestal. They look up to people, um, but they have self-esteem issues and they don't have like a high opinion of themselves, but they really are a sweetheart. What I'm seeing is they have, their heart is in the right place. Um, they're very giving. They're very loyal. They're very um, generous, but this person feels like you're too good for them is what I'm feeling. This clover energy, this reminds me of the Ten of Cups card because the rainbow is from the Ten of Cups and it's two. So that's like the Two of Cups as well. And the Ten and the Two of Cups are all about love. Um, wanting a happy, romantic, balanced, mature relationship. Really wanting that to ground. This is about luck as well. This person may feel as though they need a lot of luck when it comes to you because they just feel like they'd be really lucky if they had you. Again, I feel it's like a self-esteem thing where they feel like you're out of their league. This this may be someone that's like, um, you know, this is just an example. I'm seeing someone that's, that feels kind of like nerdy or, and they're looking at you and you're like the popular girl or the popular guy or something like that um but you know that's all in, in all an illusion you feel the same way about them you feel um this love you feel a warm feeling towards them what i'm sensing is there's a lot of harmonious energy between you you really feel like kindred spirits you really feel like soulmates um there's just this peace you get on really well there may be like different backgrounds that you've both been brought up in or something like that or you do have different social circles or something like that but you complement each other there's an energy of alignment between you of harmony like you'd really get on really well you may both be shy or it could just be one of you but I need you you know they, they think a lot about you Um, I feel like they're daydreaming about you thinking about you all the time, maybe a bit obsessed, maybe looking at you on social media. Honesty is important. I do feel they're struggling to express themselves. They may have like expressed themselves in little ways, but it's been really subtle or or they're hinting at you, but they're not directly saying their feelings. Perhaps you know very clearly that they this person really likes you but they're not making a move on you. Perhaps there's someone where you, if you try and make a move on them, it kind of makes them back off because they're really afraid and they're really shy. So this can be quite frustrating for you. But they they want to be here for you. For some of you, this is like a friend, um, but they have deeper feelings for you. And, you know, 
They really want to be this shoulder to cry on for you. Perhaps they already have been, but they have deeper feelings for you. But they're afraid of telling you. We're aligning. So, yeah, some of them are trying to be like your friend. They're trying to do lots of things for you and hang out with you lots. And they're feeling as though you two are getting closer and they feel like you are coming together. But again, there may not be like the confidence to like express that like really clearly and say it outright and making the effort. So, yeah, this person is making a lot of, a lot of effort, is there for you, is being very genuine. They know you deserve the best. They think very highly of you. Like I said, they put you on a pedestal, but also they're seeing that you're a really nice, lovely person and they know that you deserve the best. So um, they're trying to be the best version of themselves for you. So I really hope this reading has resonated. And if it has, then please like, share and subscribe. And if you subscribe, then please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. So I'll be back again really soon with some more Pick a Card readings. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Okay, so this is set of cards number three. How does this person truly feel about you? So from the messages from the Divine Masculine cards, we have, let's get married. I want to do things right. This is true love. You open me up to my sensitivity. I'm doing it for us. And I express myself differently to you. And from the Lee Normand deck, we have the bouquet. And we have the rider. So these are both very romantic cards as well. So there's really, really positive energies for set of cards number three. Let's get married. You know, this is someone who is taking your connection, taking your relationship really seriously. They're wanting to deepen the commitment you have. Or this could literally say that they feel like you're the one. They feel like they've met their soulmate in you or their twin flame, or the person they want to be with. They're, you're really inspiring them to be this romantic person. Um, this is like the knight in shining armour, and with the bouquet of flowers, you know, this is all about chivalry, romance. Um, someone feeling very deep romantic feelings for you. And, yeah... The nine of hearts, that's like the nine of cups. And that is all about wishes fulfilled. You're their dream come true. Yet they're seeing you as their dream person, their dream partner. So let's get married. They really see this potential with you for the long haul. And they, they want to commit to you. For some of them, they're ready to commit and take your relationship further. For others of you, if it's fairly new this is just saying that they they feel like you're the one and you're inspiring them to want to do things right because they feel this connection just it just feels right to them so they want to be the best version of themselves you're inspiring them like i said to be romantic and this is making them feel really good um so for most of you watching this this i feel like you're female and they're they're male but you know it can work any way round whatsoever um even same sex couples but you're really making this person feel like the rider feeling like the divine masculine feeling feeling masculine feeling manly feeling really good about themselves really confident this is true love so yeah that's why they're taking your connection seriously. They want to commit to you or they want to deepen the commitment with you. This I want to do things right card always reminds me of the Knight of Pentacles, which is 
slowly but surely planting the seeds, creating a firm foundation. They they want to be really thorough with you. You know, they don't want to just quickly rush into things. You know, they may want to move quickly, but they also they want to do it right. They want to plant those seeds. They want to make sure the foundations between you are firm and solid. And this is what they're feeling with you. Um, so they're feeling really happy, really uplifted. You open me up to my sensitivity. So this is like a spiritual card. This is, you open them up to their feelings, their emotions. Perhaps you have this deep spiritual connection, but they're really feeling connected to you on all love all levels like mind body soul emotions every every level is what i'm feeling and they're seeing you as this beautiful person so that's why they're wanting to give gifts of beauty to you this is them expressing their love communicating to you wanting a passionate new beginning um They're really wanting to demonstrate how beautiful they feel you are, is what I'm feeling. They're seeing your beauty on all levels. They're seeing your wisdom. They're seeing you're as physically beautiful, emotionally mature, a kind, generous person, that kind of thing. I'm doing it for us. So this person, they're... They want to do things right and I'm doing it for us. So there's, there's something that they're doing. You've inspired them to make change, like positive change in their life, whatever that may be. Um, and I express myself differently to you. So normally I see this card as I that this person expresses their love in a different way, perhaps. You're someone, this is just an example, perhaps you're someone who expresses it verbally. They may express it through giving gifts or being generous or in other ways or vice versa. Or, you know, you may have different love languages. You may express your love differently. But in this reading, I express myself differently to you. To me, it is saying more about they feel like they can express more of their truth to you. They're different with you than what they are with other people. They can express different things to you, more of their truth, more of their sensitivity, their spirituality. You bring deep meaning to their life. And, yeah, they're just wanting to move forward with you in a really, really positive way. So I really hope this reading has resonated with you and it really helps you. So thank you so much. And if it has really resonated, please like, share and subscribe. And if you subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will inform you every time I release a new reading. And I'll be back again really soon with more Pick a Carve readings. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye.